I'm Jeannie with the National Weather Service in Tallahassee. Today's topic is what causes weather. The seasons greatly affect weather. Earth has seasons because its axis is tilted. Earth's axis is always pointed in the same direction, so different parts of Earth get the sun's direct rays throughout the year. During the autumnal and vernal or spring equinox, the sun's rays are hitting most directly at the equator. During the summer solstice, the sun's rays are hitting the Tropic of Cancer in the northern hemisphere directly. This is summer in the northern hemisphere. During the winter solstice, the sun's rays are hitting the Tropic of Capricorn in the southern hemisphere directly. This is summer in the southern hemisphere and winter in the northern hemisphere. The uneven heating of Earth's surface drives air movement and therefore weather. The Earth tries to create a balance between the large temperature differences at the poles and equator. Cold, dense polar air near the North Pole is transported southward. Warm, buoyant tropical air rises and moves northward. Between the poles and the equator is the mid-latitudes, characterized by a temperate or mild climate. In the mid-latitudes, warm tropical air is common in the summer and cold polar air is common in the winter. The unequal heating of the earth creates areas of high pressure and areas of low pressure. Air moves from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure. The arrows show the direction winds are moving. Wind blows counterclockwise around low pressure and clockwise around high pressure. The black lines are isobars. Isobars connect areas of equal pressure. Pressure is highest at the center of the high and lowest at the center of the low. In addition to winds rotating around the high or low pressure center, air is also moving vertically. High pressure has sinking air and low pressure has rising air. That is happening near the surface. If we go higher in the atmosphere, something similar is happening. We have ridges and troughs in the upper levels of the atmosphere. The arrows show how the winds flow around the troughs and ridges. Winds flow counterclockwise around the lows and clockwise around the highs. The upper level pattern greatly influences the weather, just like surface highs and lows do. The dashed lines are troughs and the zigzag lines are ridges. Rainy, stormy, unsettled weather is common ahead of a trough, and sunny, dry weather is common ahead of a ridge. An air mass is a volume of air defined by its temperature and moisture content. Different air masses interact near the surface. Continental air masses originate or develop over land Maritime air masses originate over ocean. Close to the North Pole, a continental Arctic air mass is bitterly cold and dry. Near the U.S.-Canadian border, a continental polar air mass is cold and dry. The northeastern U.S. and northwestern U.S. have a maritime polar cool moist air mass offshore. The southeast U.S. has a maritime tropical, warm, moist air mass over the Gulf of Mexico. A continental tropical, hot, dry air mass resides over the desert southwest and much of Mexico. Another maritime tropical air mass is west of Mexico. The arrows show how these air masses migrate seasonally. A front 
is a boundary separating two air masses. A warm front moves northward, transporting warm moist air northward. A cold front moves east and south, transporting cold dry air. A stationary front usually occurs when a cold front stalls. Stationary fronts have little to no movement. And occluded fronts are common in northern U.S. and they behave like a weak cold front. Fronts move in the direction they are pointing. Cold dry air is dense, so it has a tendency to sink. Warm moist air is buoyant and has a tendency to rise. Warm moist air is pushed up and over the cool air north of the warm front. A steady continuous precipitation will be north of the warm front. In the warm season, thunderstorms can develop north of and along warm fronts. Dense cold air behind the cold front will force the warm air to rise along and ahead of the cold front. A showery type of precipitation is expected along and ahead of the cold front. Thunderstorms are common with the cold front during the warm season. Weather can also be caused by direct sunshine. The sun heats the ground in the process of radiation. The ground heats the air through the process of conduction. And the warm air rises due to the process of convection. When enough moisture is present, Strong convection can lead to the formation of clouds, showers, and even thunderstorms. Here is another graphic explaining this process. As the sun heats the ground, the ground heats up, then the air above the ground heats up and rises. Since the troposphere cools with height, this warm air parcel cools as it rises. When moisture is present, the air parcel will condense and a cloud is formed. Coastal areas can get weather from a sea breeze. On a sunny day, the land heats up faster than the water, creating a localized area of low pressure, labeled 1. Relatively cool air moves inland from the sea since air moves from high pressure to low pressure, number 2. Then the cool wind forces the warm air to rise at number three. When enough moisture is present, clouds will form over land. Showers and thunderstorms can also form along a sea breeze boundary. The rising air eventually stabilizes and moves back over the ocean at number five, where it sinks because it is now cooler than the air near the water at number six. Large lakes can have a lake breeze, which is the same process. Land breeze is the opposite and typically weaker. Air near the surface cools over land faster, creating a localized area of high pressure, number one. Cool air moves out to sea toward lower pressure, number two. Relatively warm air over the water is forced to rise, number three. This air eventually cools with height and sinks over land, number six and seven. This process can also bring clouds, showers, and thunderstorms just off the coast. The temperature differences and the heating differences between water and land drive this process. This applies to sea breezes and lake breezes also. So on a global scale, weather is caused by seasonal changes and the uneven heating of Earth. This causes areas of high and low pressure to form in the upper atmosphere and near the surface. Migrating air masses bring fronts that can cause rain, thunderstorms, and or winter precipitation. Locally, intense surface heating from the sun can bring clouds, showers, and thunderstorms. 
sea, lake, and land breezes can also bring clouds, showers, and thunderstorms. Thank you for watching. For more weather related topics, visit weather.gov slash jetstream and sigenx.gov.